Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to make a simple uh, interactive plot in R. And the data set I'm using is uh, a, a fragment of a larger data set from NASA regarding uh, the discovery of exoplanets. So exoplanets are, you know, planets that uh, have been discovered uh, orbiting other stars. And like I said, this is just a smaller fragment of the NASA set. And if you're really interested in this, you can certainly go to their site and, and see all the pretty neat stuff they've got there. These are all confirmed exoplanets. And it has an ID name or an ID field or column. And then basically these first three are identification names of the exoplanet that's been discovered. Then the status, whether it's been confirmed or not. So we're just going to look at confirmed exoplanets. Uh, the period of the exoplanet in days, so this would be, you know, two days and 13, 43 days and so forth. The radius of the exoplanet, so these are in Earth radiuses, so uh, this first one here is 16 times the Earth radius, uh, or the size of the Earth, so it's a fairly large one, whereas this one here is 0.99, so that's about the same size of the Earth. And then this uh, equilibrium temperature here in degrees Kelvin, which is kind of a indication of the energy that it's uh, receiving from its star. So to make our plot, we're going to use two libraries. One is ggplot. And we'll go ahead and load the library. And another one is called plotly. Load that one. So if you don't have these loaded on your system, you can go to Tools, Install Packages, and simply type in the name, and that'll help you actually install it. So let's go ahead and actually make a plot here. We'll go ggplot. We'll call in our uh, data set, which is exoplanet. And put in our aesthetic. We're going to make x. It's called the period and y equals the radius and we hit enter here and basically this initializes our graphic environment so we really don't have anything yet here so we're going to add some points here so we use the up arrow key to simply get back the last command and we'll give it a point like that hit enter and again we have our data here. So basically we have the period here, the radius here, and then these are the planets themselves. And we can even get fancy. We can even add the equilibrium temperature as a gradient. So we'll put that in here in the point. Color will be equal to temperature. And hit enter. So we need one more parentheses. And there we go. So now we have the, again, the radius, the period, and the equilibrium temperature of these planets. So that's all nice to look at, but it'd be interesting if we could actually click on these points and kind of see which ones they are. So for example, this one here, it's like, yeah, that's an interesting uh, planet, but I wonder what's the identification or what the name of, name of it is here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's assign this syntax to a variable, let's we'll call it P1. So now we've just assigned the syntax to that, that variable name. And now we're going to use ggplotly. And then we're going to put in P1, hit enter. And now this makes it interactive. So now we can actually hover over these points and see a little bit of more information about them. But I really wanted to know what the name of this was. So let's go ahead and modify this a little bit. So let's go back to our original syntax here. And what I'm gonna do under this initial aesthetic here, under ggplot here, AES, I'm gonna put in a label. And that's going to be, let's call it Kepler ID. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in a label here for this first column right here. Okay. And then we'll 
redo ggplotly again and what it's done is now it's actually added the Kepler ID to the tooltip itself. But maybe that doesn't help me enough. I want to actually have the, let's say, the Kepler name itself. So we go ahead and modify again. And we'll put, let's say, label one equals Kepler name. That. And go back here. And that actually adds the Kepler name as well to the tooltip. So now we have a lot more information. For example, if we want to explore a planet in more detail, we can go here and say, oh yes, this is uh, Kepler 30D. And then we can look in the literature and see a little bit more about it. So that's basically how you make an interactive plot uh, with R. And of course, you can modify the, you know, the label names and add a title and you know, just the scaling and colors and all the rest of it. But basically, this is how you do it. And if you want to share this with somebody, there's a couple of ways to do it. One is to actually publish it here. And you can do it through our pub. So it'll actually give you a, uh, an address that you can send to people. And of course, this will make it public. Uh, another way to do it is actually through, do it through the markdown file. Uh, through a markdown file. So here I have one already made up called Exoplanet RMD. And then what I can do is I can knit this. And now I have an HTML file that has this interactive plot in it as well. So I can actually go ahead and send this to somebody and they can look at it. Um, and it's pretty neat because it has a lot of neat features. You can zoom in and, you know, select things and so forth. So, again, this is a very simple way to make an interactive plot with R. And, again, you can modify things more and, you know, play around with it. But, anyway, hope this helps. And um, we'll talk to you again.